All right, an ideal spring has a spring constant of 25 newtons per meter. Determine the force required to elongate or displace the spring by 2 meters. Uh, an ideal spring simply means that this spring will obey what's called Hooke's Law. And if we write Hooke's Law, the equation for Hooke's Law is states that the force is equal to negative k x, or the magnitude of the force is just kx, but we're good to go here. So let's figure out what we know in this problem. We're given that we have a, a spring constant of 25 newtons per meter and an elongation of 2 meters. So again, we have an elongation or displacement of 2 meters. So we have everything we need to solve this problem. The force is kx, or negative kx. k is the spring constant. That is 25 newtons per meter times what the elongation is, 2 meters. Meters will cancel meters, and we end up with newtons. So that force is 50 newtons. Let's expand. If we were to stretch it farther, what would happen to the force? So if the elongation goes up, the force would have to go up. Very nice.